Back live with you on In Focus, continuing to get reaction to the President's address in what he calls a moment of national recognition of the performance of uh, a number of teams, particularly this past weekend, uh, the team and the technical people that were behind the success of uh, the Springboks. The African Transformation Movement Parliamentary Chief of Staff, Mkolisi Makubo, joins us now for more reaction. Well, it's good to have you and thank you very much for your time. What is your reaction to what the, co the President says? It is a moment of uh, national recognition of the performance of uh, the Springboks in how they have certainly inspired the nation. And uh, uh, it's key that we reflect on, on that achievement. Mr. Mishuli, the African Transformation Movement recognizes the strides that have been taken by the Springboks in achieving a World Cup and ensuring Dobana will come back with a win. In as much as that is, we take exception to some of the utterances of the President as far as many issues of governance are concerned. Because if you actually look at it, we are sitting with an unemployment issue where many of our young people in South Africa have been reduced to only receiving 350 rands as a grant and as a way of ensuring that they are dependent people that are not necessarily going to be economically plugged in. That is an unfortunate state of a state that is saying that it has failed in creating employment in the state. As we are sitting here, Mr. Mzuli, we are facing a serious situation of young people, children, and all sorts of other old people, many citizens dying uh, because of these counterfeit goods that have been surrendered at the hands of the foreign nationals in South Africa. We need to be able to ensure that we are regulating that specific space to ensure that there is absolutely nothing else that is taken out of hands. And that means that we need to be starting with the employment of environmental health practitioners that are going to be placed in communities according to the ratios of the population of South Africa. These are bread and butter issues that South Africans are concerned about. We are not concerned about this a new dawn rhetoric that we were fed when Mr. Ramaphosa first took office and we are sitting here not seeing any results. Load, shed load shedding is at its highest peak and many other issues such as unemployment, crime, the death rate and many other issues are at their peak. We need to be at this point in time reflecting as South Africans to say that. What kind of governance do we need? Do we need a governance that is going to say that it is ending corruption, it is ending a, a, a public a, 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 a spending and, and unnecessary public spending, as well as ensuring that municipalities are running efficiently, yet not actually implementing any of the steps that have been taken? Or are we actually saying that we need a governance that is going to be accountable to the citizens to ensure that the free Freedom Charter of this country belongs to the citizens and the very principles of the founding principles of our democracy belong to the people and accountability is taken back to the people because as we stand here, we are sitting with a president that has many cases to answer from your Pala Pala scandals and many other scandals, yet he keeps on telling us that he is ending corruption and yet he yeah, keeps on telling yeah, us yeah. that he is fighting corruption. So we are while, while, while we're on that... The president says in, in, in part of, 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 of that address that we are continuing to face a situation as a country uh, where spending has exceeded revenue. He says this has been going on since 2008, uh, that global financial crisis, without a commensurate increase in economic growth. Now we are expecting the medium-term budget statement on, on Wednesday. What are your proposals as ATM around that question of arresting this continuing spending that has exceeded our revenue. It is quite a very, very simple when I, uh, Mr. Mzuli. If you actually look at it, the great listing of e e e South Africa came with Umnumzalo Ramaphosa. Our, our proposals are very simple and straightforward. The, we need to be able to get uh, the control of all of the economic tiers of South Africa from your micro level, good enough for us to be able to create jobs and achieve e sustainability. When you go to the micro level uh, uh, economy, we need to be able to regain that economy to ensure that 
the economy and the rent circulate amongst us as South Africans so that we can be able to have bargaining power as well as buying power, not even mentioning spending power. We have not been able to inform or implement all of those reforms in South Africa because we've created an open economy that is not serving the ordinary South African. For us to be able to create jobs, we need to first create economic reforms that speak to us as South Africans. That is why the city Tinawuti, we need to be able, number one, regain that microeconomy and ensure that it is working for Gokumam Fuking that is living in Soweto, that is working for Umama, Umuka, that is sitting in again we need to be able to ensure that there are people and pillars in the economy. Those are very basic things in the economy. Yeah. But uh, we need to be ensure, ensure that there are people in each economy that are economic pillars that are going to give back Kengogo to the economy and ensure that the GDP rises. If we do not do that, we are not going to have buying power as the people of South Africa. Yeah. And if we do not have buying power as the people of South Africa, we definitely cannot create jobs. And if we can't create jobs, we will forever be depending on E350 as a means of living as a South Africa, yeah. which is not even informing the way that we should be living as a yeah. South Africa. So speaking of those microeconomies, and the president saying, don't downplay the, the question of uh, SRD grants, which uh, you are saying, uh, MIGA 350. He seems to believe that that, that spend as well as some of the public employment programs are vital in supporting those vulnerable communities, those micro uh, enterprises, saying the programs not only they reduce poverty, but they enable the recipients to search for jobs, to engage in, in spend, in other economic activity to support their livelihoods. Mr. Mzuli, it's very important for us to distinguish between creating a dependency state and actually making and uplifting the people of South Africa much so that they are able to be self-dependent and self-sufficient. We are not a people that have been uh, reduced to mere earners of 350. Vital as they are, the grants uh, of 350, they must be channeled towards ensuring that the people of South Africa, by as a if we actually call it in English terms, are able to better their lives. But you cannot in this economy, I promise you, you can't even fill a single plan with worths of E350. The bread is at an, an, an all high. Uh, you look at your eggs, eggs, a mere basket of 18 eggs is over 100 rands. So what we are saying as the African Transformation Movement is that instead of creating a more and more and more dependency state, we need to emancipate our people so that they are economically plugged somewhere, much that there is job opportunities. Because if we say that these grants are there to ensure that there's an acceleration of the creation of jobs, which jobs are we speaking of? Because there is no investor, cap, uh, investor confidence in South Africa. It went down the minute oh, Mr. Ramaphosa put his hands in many other questionable places. We need to be able to ensure that the leadership of this country, in as far as the executive is concerned, is ethical and is able to account to the people of South Africa to say that the public purse that we have been given by the people's grants or the people's uh, uh, taxes is this much and the spending has gone to this much. Not him telling us that uh, we've got uh, uh, so much money and the public spending is more than uh, uh, what has been budgeted for. It is because he is failing as a president, as the head of the country, to actually curb the further corruption that has been rooted in the ANC government. We need to, therefore, as the people of South Africa, to say that we are getting rid of this ANC government and ensuring that in 2024 we vote cautiously and we vote because we know that the people of South Africa and the future generations of South Africa are depending on our decision to actually unseat his, uh, his, his presidency as well as his party because they have proven right. themselves not to be the killers of the country. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much for coming on policy, ATM's party parliamentary chief of staff.